Good morning, everyone. I'm Kara Sundland coming to you because it is a big day for kindness on the UConn campus as the Husky Thon is underway, the fundraising to push for the big event. Uh, if you don't know what that is, I'm joined by Tess Penders, who is on campus right now, and she's going to tell us. Hi, Tess. Hi, Kara. So I got to see some of the video of like last year where there's 3,500 kids dancing and all raising money for CCMC, which is so amazing. Tell us about the mission of Huskython today. Sure. So Huskython is UConn's year-long fundraising initiative for the patients and families at Connecticut Children's, and it culminates in an 18-hour dance marathon that will be happening on March 4th. We've raised over $10 million in the past 24 years, and we're hoping to push past that this year. Um, a big reason why we're able to do that is because of our day of strength, which is happening today on February 22nd. And we're challenging the Yukon community to raise $275,000 in just 24 hours. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of money. So how do you do that? So we're challenging each of our participants, there's over 3,500 of them, to raise $131 um, to honor the 131,000 patients treated by Connecticut Children's in 2022. Wow, okay, so there's so much meaning behind this. And I think, you know, with all the negativity going on in the world and, and, and all the other things we're worried about, it's so wonderful to see a young person like yourself and all these other young people really coming together for equal parts fun and philanthropy, really making a difference. Definitely. It's really something that you can't find anywhere else, nowhere else on campus, honestly, nowhere else in the state of Connecticut. Like, there's nothing like it to see college kids just give up all of this time for a cause that's so worthy. It's incredible to witness. I, I had the opportunity to see some of the videos and interviews you've done with the children at CCMC. Many of them, you know, really in a battle for their lives. They've been diagnosed with cancer. They've been diagnosed for any number of things. So certainly we need the money for the research. But more than that, um, these kids were saying, like, it just means so much to them that they can see out, people out there, college kids, care that much. Right. And especially for the kids, it's so important for them to see something so tangible, like all of us coming together for one big event. You know, money to them and the resources to them just don't really mean as much. Um, and so for them to be able to see all of these people, all of these kids who are just like loving on them and giving them their all for 18 hours is incredible. So I know people might be watching on our Facebook page right now, and I want to encourage everyone, um, you know, if you can donate, great. But if not, share it with your friends, raise awareness. That's another way to help. But how do you get involved? Uh, what if you want to come to the big dance-a-thon? Can you do that? Or is it just for students? How do you give money? Yeah, you can come. Um, there's... It's gonna be on March 4th um, in our Hugh S. Greer Fieldhouse on campus from 6 a.m. to midnight. If you want to donate, you can text UConn to 51555 or you can visit our website, www.huskython.org. Huskython.org, I was on it a second ago, so that's nice and easy, Huskython, H-U-S-K-Y-T-H-O-N.org, or repeat the text thing again uh, of how people can just easily text, from their, uh, text money from their phones. Yeah, they can just text the word UConn, capital U-C, and then lowercase O-N-N, -N, to the number 51555. And Tess, tell us about your role in this giant event. So I'm the Vice President of Communications. I'm a member of a six-person executive board who kind of puts everything together. Um, and it's my role to kind of do publicity for the event, to promote it. I do all the merch and the social media and everything like that. So just what we're doing here right now. Yeah, you want people to follow you on Huskython, right? I was able to find you on Twitter. Yes. Uh, so are you on all the yep. major platforms and people can follow along and see the Dance-a-thon and all of that? Yes, definitely follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, all of the above at Huskython. And are you a student at UConn also? I am, yes. This so is my this fourth is year. Student run. Senior. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. My last my last run. Oh my gosh. So as you are about to graduate, what does being involved in something like this, uh, what are you going to take away in, as you enter the quote unquote real world? Everything. I mean, this organization truly means the world to me. It's the most, it's, it's truly the, the best 
part of my college career, probably the most fulfilling thing I've done all, all my life. So, I mean, just taking away the fact that there are so many people, so many good people in this world who will come together for a cause like this. And it's just such a selfless act. And I, I really feel so blessed to be able to witness it. Uh, well, we're lucky to have people like you doing it. And like you said, there's nothing like it in Connecticut, maybe nothing like it in the whole country. Coming up on March 1st, you're going to see, I, last time you had 3,500 kids, I think. Um, how many do you expect this year? The same or is it growing? We already have 3,500 um, participants right now, and that's, that number is just growing all the way through March 4th. So we're accepting participants up until that point. So we're hoping to, you know, even more than 3,500 this year. Wow. Anything before we let you go? I know you've got a lot of money to raise and a lot of organizing to do. Um, any Anything that you want to make sure people who are watching know? I think just texting UConn to 51555 to help us hit that $275,000 goal today would be the number one thing that I would have to say. And again, all the money, I've seen the interviews you guys have done with uh, the establishment over at CCMC. I mean, there's there's a lot a lot of money that's raised, but it's also in the importance the kids who are at, being treated for different medical conditions are just so lifted and happy and say they can forget about their diagnosis for a little bit when you guys are doing all this and it's a day of happiness for them. So uh, whether you're legion is to UConn or your allegiance is just to help children. There's really a lot of reasons that people can give to this cause. Yes, I completely agree. Thank you so much, Tess. Um, big day for kindness on the UConn campus. We're happy that you're helping run it and good luck to everyone there for your big uh, day of giving and, and getting it going. Thanks so much, Kara, for having me on. I really appreciate it. Absolutely. And thank you, everyone, who's joined the feed for something positive. Um, you want to spread kindness on the Internet, definitely share this post. Uh, it's a great way for people to help those who are living in Connecticut and outside of it. So we appreciate it. Have a great, great day, Tess. Thank you. You too.